outside the Lindsay's Dale and we're going on a, a bluebell hunt today absolutely gorgeous day again and I'm smothered head to toe in fact of 50 in fact my head's like a double coating you know, on the safe side I've got my bandana on as well after getting my neck burnt in the Lake District a couple of days ago taking no chances today so nice to see Mrs Metal Man out again We've been here in all seasons, in all weathers, even on a bank holiday weekend before, and nine times out of ten, never see a soul. Absolutely brilliant. And one of Mrs. Metalman's favourite walks is this. Yes, I'm talking about you. Because it's relatively flat and very, very scenic all the way around. If, like I'm hoping today, you catch the bluebells out, it's going to be an absolute joy to see. So, fingers crossed for that. Well, the first of the bluebells. To be honest, I think we've come maybe it's about a week late, I think, because they seem to be going over to me. Still do look nice, yeah. I see they're just starting to go over a bit. Another week or two, you wouldn't even know they're here. As well as the bluebells, a nice smell of wild garlic as well. It's making me feel hungry. So I've really enjoyed these last three or four days. We've had really nice weather. I've been over the lakes. Met up with some friends, had a canny little walk out there with them. I'll be back over the lakes next weekend with Mrs. Metal Man. So we'll get a couple of canny little walks in there. In the middle of all this peace and tranquility, Mrs. Metal Man gets a phone call. Switch it off. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous here. It's starting to get a bit warm, so I think what we'll be doing, we'll be looking for a nice shady spot to sit down and uh, have a spot of lunch, I think, uh, and just chill out. Somebody's coming to see us. Hello, friends. <laughs> you what? Please don't eat us. <laughs> oh, you're all right for a couple of weeks yet. Hey. <laughs> Got a nice little stop here. Sit down for 10 minutes, bit of a breather, and uh, talk to the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's the second side of madness. The first <laughs> side of madness is talking to yourself. <laughs> Do plenty of that. I cannot believe how dry everything is and really bone dry everything is so looks like we're in for another drought I think but if we get the weather we had last year I can live with it I think somewhere up here we'll be having lunch I think a bit of shade <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Very pleasant uh, place to stop for lunch. Right next to the river. Normally the river's right the wheel here. We've got to sit towards the bank. But uh, 
I haven't got to get Mrs. Metalman on because uh, she's eating <laughs> and she doesn't want to be on when she's eating. I finished mine. Couldn't wait. Over like a professional. <laughs> you look like. enough as I was saying before we can do this walk we've done it hundreds of times all seasons and we can walk up and down and spend half a day here not see a soul we'll see more people today <laughs> than we've ever seen I think that's the trouble I think sometimes when uh, we always call this uh, at this time of the year we always call this our secret bluebell walk and I think when I've been filming these secret places well that doesn't sound the right secret place when I've been filming my secret walks, the trouble is like people see it and think, that's a canny walk, I think I'll do that. So maybe next time we do this walk, there'll be a few more people on it, I don't know. But either way, coming towards the end there now, been a really nice walk out, midweek walk out. at uh, Midland Teasdale so we'll have a wander around there a few nice uh, shops butchers bakers pubs calves uh, so if you're in the area it's a canny place to uh, sort of have a wander about only in the summer mind in the winter we were about 30 miles away but we down the dale so Midland Teasdale is a lot higher um, so if we get a covering of snow at home sometimes they're blocked off for about two weeks up here uh, nothing can get in, nothing can get out, so the survive on what's in the local stores and the, the local farmer for milk and eggs. So a great place to come, but uh, in the nice weather. Thank you very much for watching, really appreciate it. And hopefully we'll see you on the next one, which will be over in the Lake District. Right, you can walk off now. Mm -hmm.